guys welcome back to southern extreme tv let me make sure i get this little antenna up out of your way today we're going to be kicking it back to one of my most popular videos that i came out with and if you haven't seen the video it is titled over and under shotgun on a budget or a budget over and under shotgun and what i want to talk about is the hatfield over and under 12 gauge that i picked up this is two years ago that i picked this shotgun up now i had a lot of people that were very interested in the shotgun that loved the shotgun and then i had a lot of people that did not like the shotgun whatsoever so before we start waving this thing around i'll show you guys all y'all control freaks nothing in there no rounds no shells in the gun so what are we going to be talking about today since i've already done a full review on this gun i want to talk about a two-year review and the reason that I want to go to a two-year review is I have been able to take this gun and hunt with it I've been able to take it to the uh, sporting clays range and shoot it carry it and load it unload it clean it and I feel like now I can really give you guys an honest two-year in review and it's something that um, I I feel like I could see more of on the YouTube channels that are out there um, just from my opinion before I go and try to start buying a gun I would love to see somebody do their initial impression on the gun and then also see them do a two or three year in review after they've used that firearm and I feel like that's something that is lacking in the industry so hopefully this video today will help you guys understand a little bit more about this gun and figure out if really something that is really budget oriented is something you're looking for so the first thing I want to talk about is doing some research on some of the other over and unders that are out there on the market there are a lot of heavy guns out there a lot of guns that are extremely heavy to carry so first thing I want to do and I did not do this in the last video is I want to weigh this gun on camera and hopefully this works so right there maybe you guys can see we got zero oh you ain't gonna be able to see it zero pounds zero ounces and again remember I showed you guys that this gun has nothing in it so let's take this and we are gonna weigh it let me see what it is 614 six pounds and 14 ounces Maybe you guys can take a look there and see six pounds and 14 ounces um, so the fact that the gun is hitting that six pound mark um, and not in the sevens from everything that I have read I am by no means a huge over and under upland bird hunter guy because I'm from North Carolina we just don't do that a lot but we do shoot a lot of shotguns and we shoot a lot of guns in general so the fact that it is not in that seven or eight pound range makes this gun really nice to carry through the field um, it, I mean as far as carrying it if uh, I actually took it on a hunt not too long ago trying to shoot some woodcocks and it was very pleasant to carry through the field through the briars through the thick stuff I like it because it's lightweight and it's easy to carry the negative that I got about it though and I do want to point this out I hopefully will be able to get some close-ups for you guys where you can see it but right here along the barrel where they have some stenciling and I call it stenciling it's just where they've made their marks as far as the the name brand and what gauge it is and it's on both sides here and I don't know how well you guys can see it with the sun shining bright but I'll try to give you guys some close-ups of what I'm talking about but I'm getting some pitting in this metal or at least in the Cerakote finish that is on this gun that's one of the things that I think a lot of people were interested in as far as this goes is it's not a traditional looking over and under shotgun because it has this flat dark earth or bronze almost sear coat finish on the barrel which is something that really brought my attention to this gun and the price point on this gun whenever I purchased this gun I paid right around $300 for this 12 gauge over and under shotgun and as you can tell it's a beautiful gun the only thing that I I ain't gonna say the only thing it, this little this this is this is kind of cheesy it looks kind of glued on there's been a couple people comment about it um, how cheesy it looks and I've got to agree with them I'm not a fan of that pheasant right there um, if they would take that pheasant off and just leave this as a complete Cerakote side I'm okay with it even that it even though it doesn't have any engravings or anything fancy like some of your higher end guns do um, I'm okay with that now again if you've not seen the original video this gun has extractors not ejectors and what that means is whenever you shoot this gun and you go bang bang 
you go to break this gun down, it is not gonna snap and shoot your spent shells out across the field or whatever the case may be. It is going to pull those shells out so that you can grab a hold of them, pull them, put them in your pocket, put them in your pouch, whatever the case may be, and then you can load two new rounds in there. That is actually something that I personally prefer because if I'm in the woods or I'm out in the field and I want to carry my shells out with me, I don't want to litter or whatever the case may be, um, I can actually grab them, pull them out, put them in my pocket and go from there. Um, to point out on this gun, the safety selector is still functioning perfect. I've had no issues whatsoever. You do have a barrel selector switch as well. From what I can tell, no problems there at all. Um, I've actually taken this thing, like I said, to a couple uh, sporting clay shoots, and I've not had the gun malfunction one time. I did have one round um, that did not go off, but it was not the gun's fault. It was actually a bad shell. And the reason and the way that we tested it was we took that same shell, that had a punch in the primer and we put it into another gun, a semi-automatic and then also into a pump and tried to shoot that same shell and it didn't work. So it was either a bad primer or something funky just was not happening, um, wasn't working for us. So two years in, what is my impressions? The gun works, it's cheap, and for the most part it is held up. The only thing is just this little bit of pitting that I'm getting right here. Now I will say that I was not the best about cleaning this gun, but again, that's what I thought that this Cerakote finish was for. You put the Cerakote finish on there to protect that steel. Now this little bit of pitting that they got, it's not rust from what I can tell. I don't know if it had some type of reaction or what the issue is, but it's just, it's not pretty and it's not clean anymore but it's not all the way up here along the barrel through here it's only right here it appears that it's only where they engraved or stenciled in letters telling you what the gun is and who makes it um, and you can see down here on the bottom where it actually says Hatfield, their field version, um, that's not actually engraved it is I don't know what kind of process they put to make that go on there but no pitting, no issues there. As far as the wood holding up, I heard a lot of guys saying that um, I would have some issues right here in the inlays where I would see some wood splintering or chipping. Nothing on the stock anywhere does it show bad quality or show that there's going to be issues on down the road in the future. I've got one little ding, and I actually did that. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a little bitty ding right there. I did that myself. That wasn't even on the gun. Um, it wasn't the gun's fault. It was not just wear and I mean, it's just normal wear and tear. Um, I mean, just you can't ask for anything more for a $300 gun. I know you guys want to see me shoot it. Hopefully, I'm rolling some B roll, some B footage in here of me shooting this thing. So, let's fire a couple rounds out of this thing. I know that's what everybody wants to see on this channel is actually the gun go boom. So, let's shoot two rounds. And I'm not really just shooting anything, I just got a bank right here. Um, I want to take two shots so you guys can see the recoils, see that the gun is actually still functioning the way it's supposed to. Um, right now, I'm going to show you that it is on safe. This gun is loaded. I'm going to try to pull the trigger. So clearly the safety is still working. Now, let's take this thing off. Safety, perfect. Now, let me show you guys again what I'm talking about, these extractors, not ejectors. So if you see here when this thing goes down, bam, this little mechanism, I don't know what it's called, pulls the shells out and I can grab them and then put them into my back pocket like I'm gonna do now so that I don't run them over with a lawnmower in the future. So let's go two more rounds, drop it in there. I got the gun back on safe. Go two more rounds, safety off. Boom, boom. Break that down, let you guys see that one more time. Bow, take them out, that nice pretty smoke coming out of there. Mm, if you don't love that smell, you got the wrong channel. You're watching the wrong channel. But man, just what an awesome, functioning, beautiful, beautiful over and under shotgun at a very budget oriented price. If you're somebody like me that loves to own several different guns, that likes to own a bunch of guns, but also can't necessarily afford a lot of guns this is a gun that you want to take a look at there's a lot of budget oriented over and under shotguns out there but i've not found one yet that has been able to compete with the price point that this gun got me 
just a beautiful beautiful gun two years in like i said i've had no issues whatsoever um, the only issue is just this little bit of pitting so i can't say i haven't had any issues um, that's the only issue i've had but from a functionality standpoint the gun is awesome i absolutely love it the red fiber optic on the end here is still holding up i know some of the cheaper guns you can worry about maybe losing or breaking that bead off over time carrying it through briars carrying it through thick stuff nothing like that has happened here uh, fiber optic still in still in good condition nothing wrong with it whatsoever i know back on my original video i talked about the action the break action of it being really really stiff and i told you guys that i thought it would work itself out which it has you can still see that it's still nice and firm which is a good thing and I, i'm not knocking that it's a good thing because what tells me is if this thing was just falling completely open and flopping all over the place that would tell me that i had a lot of wear and tear right here around this hinge and that's not what you want you want a gun that's just gradually going to break in and eventually it's going to get that perfect fit and that perfect function of falling down breaking open recocking and being able to go so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed this honest two-year update review on this gun i know i've gotten a lot of people asking me hey is that gun still holding up how's it holding up and is it still worth it is it worth the investment absolutely guys this is a gorgeous gun there's not a lot of them out there on the market and the fact that you don't have to pay a lot of money to get one is phenomenal now i'm telling you guys the way this market is right now it's going to be extremely difficult to find this gun so i thought about selling it a while back i'm not going to sell it i've decided i'm going to keep it for what i got in this daggum gun i can't get rid of it man i absolutely love it let's shoot this thing two more times just gotta love it man there's something about uh, over and under shotgun that i love i've fallen in love with an over and under shotgun i love it i love it i love it man just an awesome all-around good gun well guys hopefully you enjoyed today's video hopefully you have been waiting for this video to come out before you start trying to find a budget over and under shotgun this video in my opinion should help you guys determine that you do not have to spend an arm and a leg on an over and under shotgun to get out in the woods get out on the range and have a good day of shooting maybe you just need a backup gun maybe you already own a really good gun you just want a second gun to throw in your bag throw in your truck whatever the case may be this is the perfect gun for that so hopefully you enjoyed today's video if you're new to southern extreme tv make sure you hit that subscribe button in the top left corner I'm trying to grow this thing to a hundred thousand subscribers so every click means the absolute world to me guys thanks so much for taking time out of your day to hang out with me i'll see you guys next time